They are strangling us economically, socially and culturally, as I told you they would. I also told you that if you serve the zoo, you will come back in shame. Yes. Is that not happening? It's yeah. happening. Yeah. On a man, so even though they never believed before, now they believe in what we are doing. The message from Baltimore today to the whole world and those who are unfortunate to be in the zoo is this that what IPOB is fighting for is for the betterment of everybody, yes, of everybody currently. Or should I say presently? We must set those people free. For us to be completely free, we must set others free as well. Yes. 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 And that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. And I'm glad to say that their senses are now coming back. They are now realizing that what those miscreants are saying or have been saying for very many years is reality after all. But you know them, shame won't allow them to come. Huh? <laughs> and, uh, I see IPOB as that rejected stone, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> said, we can never be useful. And today, they are waiting for this broadcast so they can learn something new. <laughs> of course. Of course. So they can learn something new. And you are the reason why I travel all over the world, very proud, determined in this very Because sometimes I say to myself, why must we continue? People who don't understand the divinity of this very message. Biafra restoration is spiritual. Yes. Forever. It's not temporal. Forever. That is something that we need to appreciate and understand. Yes. Biafra restoration is not a franchise. Never. It's not about that at all. Never. Never. I have nothing until Biafra come. As I said to Elohim in the oath I took at the temple in Jerusalem. Yes. That I will have no earthly possessions until Biafra is restored. What we are doing here is not a business, is not what we are doing within IPOB is the calling of God Himself. And that is why our enemies, regardless of the vast resources at their disposal, they are the ones who are panicking. We are not panicking. We know where we are going. We can nominate the boss in the end of the day and then I'll be able to do Because the Zoom was full. Yes. I promise the full honey that I will break Nigeria into pieces. It will no longer exist as an entity. Oh my God. Wow. It doesn't matter what they do. It's a proclamation that will come to pass because anything I say behind this microphone will pass. Hey. Even when I said I would sacrifice my parents, I didn't know what I was saying. It has come to pass. That is the way it works with us. Those who are in the flesh will not understand what we are. Yes, of course. They said you people are impossible to bring together. That's when I move the moon and you hit yourself. They are clowns. Clowns. And within 24 hours, in a far-flung place from DC, this is the number of people who are here. That is confirmation that we not only love ourselves, that we are determined to restore Biafra. Yes. Absolutely determined. They used to say to us that these people cannot <laughs> come together, nor contribute money, nor do anything that will benefit those they don't know. <laughs> but you have proven them wrong. 
Big time. Yeah. Big time. What you're doing today, no other group of people can do it in Africa. I say no one can do it. Even in the whole world. This is the largest mass movement on this earth. It is. I said the largest. Mm. 70 million. And the era of Olani, the emasculation of other people has come to an end. Over. Over. It's over. Over. Uh, when they go to sleep, they think of IPOB <laughs> and they have convulsion. <laughs> that was what we set out to achieve from day one. Yes. I did. We've not had arms yet. And oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no. Did you see our men in the world at all? <laughs> yes. yes. Can you imagine giving those men arms? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We must preach this very gospel. This is very bad. Some people ask you, What have you accomplished? What are you doing? That, uh, they put a man on my way here. They said that the inspector general of police, I'm reading from Guardian. <laughs> have now ordered the immediate removal of every illegal checkpoint in Because they understand we are not criminals, we don't steal. We are not asking for anything that doesn't belong to you. Your mm -hmm. All we are asking for is a right to establish Yafra the way it was before the white man. That right is inalienable. Yes. That right is natural. Anybody not pursuing Biafra, I keep saying this all the time. You either have a mental problem. <laughs> you either have a mental problem or you have a questionable bloodline. Because all of us, we are with everybody here comes from an autonomous community. Is that correct? Is there any community that is not autonomous that we come from? What is the meaning of autonomy? To be on your own. Why is it that you will argue for autonomous communities in your own villages when it comes to Biafra to be autonomous in the zoo? You say no. <laughs> Does that make any sense to anybody? No. They said they have now removed the checkpoints, but you know how they behave in the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> how do you see it? Very viable to Some people ask us, or they asked us the other time. I'm just trying to tell you some of the accomplishments we've been able to make since we started coming to Washington. We're not hiding. We can't exist, so we're not hiding anything. Yes. Those who are working for us in the DC, if you go to your DOJ, you see their papers there. You see how much we are paying them. You see the work they are doing for us. Because we are not asking USA to do something that hasn't been done before. We are not criminals. We are not terrorists. Who are the terrorists in Nigeria? Who are the terrorists in Nigeria? They have four terrorist groups. Four! Four! They have four terrorist groups, all funded by the Fulani. Oh, yes. And Arabs. Mm -hmm. They have Boko Haram, yep. Islamic State of West Africa. Mm -hmm. They have Al Qaeda in the Maghreb. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they have mm -hmm. the very deadly Fulani headsman. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's the ISWA. Mm -hmm. Islamic State of West Africa. Yeah. Yeah. 
They said they will not give the presidency to an evil man because of what the the Canada IPOB are doing. Yes. That's what they said. Yeah. Can you imagine if their friends were to produce four terror groups? What will happen to them? Oh, I wish I Those that are currently funding four terror groups are allowed to rule the opportunity. British edifice. UK government edifice. And they have discovered something that I'm sure that most of you have known all along. That should the Fulani man decide to rule the zoo for the next hundred years, they can do it yeah. and nothing will happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know why they will rule it for the next hundred years? They control INEC. Yeah. No, they own, not control, they own INEC. They own, they own EFCC. Yeah. So when you start asking questions, they will go and lock you up. So if they see you as a threat, they lock you up. They own the National Assembly. When they criticize them, they produce hate speech being. Yeah. They own the army. They own the navy. Yes. They own the police. Yes. They own customs. Yes. They own civil defense. Yes. Everything is under their control. Yes. And they understand. They understand very vividly that the Yoruba man that is the third leg in this equation. Mm -hmm. We will never speak out. They mm -hmm. understand yeah. that yeah. 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 Because, yeah. because an average vindictive Yoruba man is more interested in what is coming from the east Always. than the calamity coming from the north. Always. Always. Yeah. Always. More to but I am grateful that the panic days of this world are the band job. And the man that henceforth I respect, they are laughing about you. He spoke. Are you aware of that? Yeah. 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 He said that the people yeah. introduce uh, commerce in the, uh, I will tell you what the Alapin of Oyo said so that you may be able to understand precisely what is happening. He said that it is a shame that the Yorubas have become slaves in their own land. Wow. Wow. He said it only two days ago. <laughs> the same thing that we have been saying yes. from day one. Yep. That Tinubu, if you continue along this path you're going, the Fulanis will swallow you yes. without trace. The Yoruba land will sink. And as you have said, they hosted their flag, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they did. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. 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 The same thing they used to do to us. Because Fayemi said he wants to contest to be the president of this group. Ah. They now said to him, prove your loyalty to the Fulani Caliphate. <laughs> That's what they do now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Always. When Obi and I wanted to go for second time, they said, try and kill as many of your people as possible. Mm -hmm. That is what is happening in this zoo. They thought we would not have the presence of mind to bring all of those to the attention of the world that we have done so. Yes. And we shall continue to do so. To put it the way the other, this is, this is the foremost paramount ruler in Yoruba land. Because if I were to say this, they will say IPOB, they have come again. They are throwing seeds of discord. I like your people, I have nothing against them. But they are misdirecting the competition to the east. They should face the north. Yes. Right. Because we have nothing against them. Jealousy and the wickedness. You can't see me at the back? Okay. 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 After this? Okay. 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 You're fine, you're fine. I don't think I need microphone. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't need it. You don't need it. I'm, I'm, I'm alive on it. Yes. I will tell you what the Latin of Oyo said. In line with everything we have been preaching on Radio Biafra to prove to you that the whole world is listening. He said, it's a shame that the Southwest 
has chosen to feed on the crumbs from the table of illiterates. Everyone is now on the first time. Wide awake. Look at that. Now the Yorubas understand that uh, the Africans, the East, not their problem. That their problem is yeah. coming from the North. So, mm -hmm. They now understand what the Janja would have in mind for everybody. Yeah. You get culture. And while some of us, even the very few who are here, not in this fall, of course, but those of you who are being sponsored by corrupt politicians from back home, you must understand, as the days of these corrupt politicians are numbered, so are your days as well. Amen. <laughs> That is to tell you that what you're doing is not a joke. The zoo is now paying attention. Very close attention. And as we are moving from building to building at, on, a, a, on Capitol Hill, office to office, so is the zoo. <laughs> that is the question. How long can they do it? And they're more hardworking than we are. Never. Oh, no. So they will yeah, never, ever succeed. Exactly. Not today, not tomorrow, not forever. Today. The trick they are playing is very simple. <laughs> Subdue these people mm -hmm. and keep the result away from the knowledge of the war. Yes. That's what they're doing. And if you go now to talk about what happened to us, they'll say, oh no, that was um, it's 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what is happening now. And we said it is not changed at all. We tell them that the Fulani Muslims are killing the Christians from the East. They say, no, 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 there's nothing like that. Not happening. Are you aware of that? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. How much did um, Buhari, when he was alive, give to the Clinton Foundation? <laughs> Uh -huh. Five hundred million dollars. <laughs> and that has gone to form this false narrative. There's nothing wrong going on or happening in Nigeria. Don't you know that? What do you think that lobbying is all about? That's what it is. It's the corruption. Because there's the same where we come from. In the and who you may know your website, they say nothing. Oh, naturally. You don't know how it's done? That is how it's done. Because you're not there. Yeah, of course. We have come to the USA and now they understand what is happening to us. And it's no longer going to be politics as usual. It changes everything. No longer politics as usual. Now the world is aware of what is happening to us. It changes them. I was rich. And the funniest thing is that the foreigners can no longer help themselves. Yeah. The dam has been bust. Big time. Tempest. They cannot, they can no longer. They've opened the floodgates of hell. They are coming in from the Sahel into all nooks and crannies of the sea. And some of us are here. And as I keep saying, one of many people for the natural, when I say this, some people continue to laugh and to smile if we don't do anything now and do it very quickly by the time some of us get some there'll be no more homes to go to anymore it's true, that's true. What, what happened to the judge of israel happened to us by the time you get in there others have now taken over your land is it only him who didn't hear what danjima said <laughs> yes. This was the man that was charged with killing our people. Yes. He killed his own city. Mm -hmm. and four officers. Slaughtered and less than six eight hours. Killed in that same damnable contraption. That some people wake up in the morning and say, I'm a proud Nigerian. Abomination. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Forever mm -hmm. abomination. Mm -hmm. They never loved you. From the beginning, it didn't start from 1960, 
1966, no, 1967. He started since 1945. They made it very clear to him before that. Because you met your skill in period. They've said it many times. The reason why they are campaigning to stop Biafra is because they know that once Biafra comes, their primitivity, their backwardness, their illiteracy will be laid bare for the whole world to see. Because the world will ask them, are these Biafras not the same black people of Africa as you? Yes, they know. That is what they are afraid of. Some of us don't understand it. They say, oh, you're, you're, you're a Nigerian. You have a house, you have a plot of land in, in Abuja. You have one rundown chemist in Zingeru. The people who are responsible for our plights today in our land don't seem to understand the damage that they have caused to us. And I can assure all of you who are here, 50% of you, which is half, if your children make it back home, then you're very lucky. A home in America. Do you think they're coming to your village? I want us to be very honest. Do you think they will come to the village that when you're gone, they will stay? You know, bring now and uh, live out the rest of their lives? Is it going to happen? No. This is to let you know that IPOB, the Afro is actually doing you a favor. It is doing you a favor. I have said this before. Some of you who are here, if your son or your daughter were to go back to Mexico to bring in somebody, will you say no? Can you stop them? No. no. <laughs> we have too many enemies. Yes. Too many enemies. Ordinary town hall meeting in Baltimore. Facebook doesn't allow us to stream it live. Yeah. We can. This is the second time they've shut us down. Yes, that's what I did. Look about. Because any any agency, any government, any institution or structure that has presence in this field, yeah. yeah. Oh, I started in 1971. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. Anybody with presence in the zoo is compromised. Because Facebook is in the zoo. That is why they're able to go in, shut down what we are. They know we're exposing them. And they know that the whole world is listening. And they cannot stop us. They know we are unbribable. Yes. They cannot buy IPOB. It's impossible. Priceless. A priceless. Whatever. The only thing you can buy is something with a price tag on it. There's no price tag. <laughs> what you can do is maybe if you're a very if you have a if you have a very dubious disposition, you try and steal it. <laughs> you can't buy anything. We are on buy. On buy priceless in the green bubble. And the zoo is crumbling as a result of it. <laughs> yes. They are doing you a favor. QB is doing you a favor. The only chance of having those your lovely children, your sons and your daughters, coming back home to hear your name, join Udumuna in the village, is through IPOB. Only with the coming of Biafra. Yes. I'm even sure that some of you, were your children to say, I want to go home for Christmas, you will say no. But it's <laughs> Are we still there? We can actually now. Well, we can, of course. Yeah. We can. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I wonder how they lost a lawsuit last time. <laughs>
The whole world is listening to us for information. We are live to the whole world. I told you that Jibril was there. Oh, sorry, you bring to go back. Isn't that what I said? Yeah, yeah. 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 And um the Aisha Buhari has confirmed it time and time again. Yeah. But the animals in the zoo won't listen. You know what they do? You know what the zoo did? They went and cut out all the incendiary programs I did. Gave it to their lobbies of two hills. Anytime I go to see the Senator of Congress, they go in there, they start playing my broadcast. Yeah. That I harbor hate. <laughs> that I'm the hate preacher. At lunch. <laughs> I told the world that Buhari is dead. They didn't believe me. Of course, maybe they did. But they're lying to themselves. Diva Danjima said, nobody will sleep if I reveal what is happening in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> we would not be surprised. When he was 29 years old. Because they are all under a satanic oath. When I was saying it, they thought the world would continue to be very rosy for them. They never realized that Abakiari had other plans for them. The man who is in charge of Nigeria, Abakiari, he is the president. He was the one that recruited Jibril from Sudan. They know the truth. But the Yoruba media that should have carried the truth declined to do so because it will mean that uh, those miscreants were right. Do you see what that somebody that envy <laughs> and jealousy can destroy you? They don't want the world to say that what IPOB is doing is correct or that we are truthful people. Today, that monster they were helping to feed have now come to feed them. Mm -hmm. yes. And mark my words and write it down, they will never ever stop until they have conquered everybody. Do you think they're going to stop? No. no. Because the Fulani also understand that you'd probably leave their hands again and it's over for them. <laughs> and they're almost done. <laughs> that is why we must remain very determined and very resolute to do everything within our power to support whatever project or program being run by IPO that Biafra may be restored very quickly and without further delay for our own good not just as a nation but also for your individual family but else you know one day what I got to because since 19, let's say since 1980, how many people do you know here in the USA went back home to occupy their father's company? How many? Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, actually, some went. As engineers and came back here now to be security guard. Is that not correct? Yeah. 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 That is the type of nonsense we are looking to stop. Uh, he's a former defense minister. He was very prominent in the running of this room. The same thing they did to Cancer Arua, the same thing they did to Adaka Boro, the same thing they're not doing to Ajus or Kalo, the same thing they will do to Ike Premadi eventually, yes. the same thing they are trying to do to Jiti Fanyo by Wes Capitolo. 
Abalibe, they know it's untouchable. They know Abalibe is untouchable. No, it was an, it's an old news. Old news. They know it's untouchable. All these people we are warned and they we are told. The only way you can survive is by supporting IPOB. If you don't, they'll come after you. They never listen. And today, what is happening to them? The Fulani people who are corruption themselves. I mean, corruption. Yeah. They are the ones now pointing, accusing fingers, saying that. Um, other people are corrupt. So you are telling me there is no corrupt governor from the north. <laughs> that is Alvosa Fulani. Fulani, so to speak, not Alvosa. Because Alvosa people are victims themselves. I'm sure you all know that. Right? Yes. The same way that I warned you that what Fulani did to Alvosa people is what is going to happen to everybody. They are very clever. They are very, very clever. They come, they say we are fighting corruption. They've been fighting corruption for, for the past 400 years. They isolate a few number of you. They convince you that their cause is worthy. That um, Buhari has come to fight corruption. They stand on that to destroy your way of life. I don't, is anybody from any good state here? Why? <laughs> <laughs> there are 14 Fulani settlements in Enugu. Settlements in Enugu. One for 14 of them. How many priests have been killed in Enugu? How many? Do you know that Miet Yala was given $3 million in Enugu <laughs> to stop for that killing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of that? Yeah. So even the money that belongs to us, they are giving to Benjamins. They say they have taken all these Carlos properties. Property they acquired allegedly using Adiyah's money. Is that correct? Yeah. Who do you think should be the rightful? <laughs> I said it's federal government. Right. Who delivered yeah. the judgment? A badly educated Polani judge. Yet our people are still blind. When we are small, there is a saying. We are the ones who are doing exactly that now. They came to Nimbo. They came to Uzo and they killed us. And people from Enugu State, and some are saying they are Nigerians. That is how foolish and how mad some people are. They blackmailed Uguan into giving them 14 choice pieces of land with which to establish a settlement. You know how it goes. They start with the settlement. First, there will be a strategy, strategy of the area. Yeah. Uh, isn't it? Yeah. And the next, they get to put this card through Jega. And they will vote in their people to go to your council, local council. Isn't it? Yes. And then they have a, an imam. And from an imam, they now. Small <laughs> <laughs> small MA in the village. Big and some of us will be saying, Oh, it's in one Nigeria. The counter argument will be, Are you not in Sabon Gering Kanu? But if you're foolish enough, you won't understand. We are in Sabon Gering, we worked hard to build Sabon Gering. It's a privately owned business. We are not in their land occupying their land. Yeah. Am I clear at all? Yeah. Yeah. Some people from Enugu say they are Nigerians. The same thing is happening in Ebu. We are IPOPs battling them. I say it openly everywhere I go to. 
We are battling them. There is a war in a police state. And we are fighting them. They are killing us and we are killing them. They understand that very well. The state government doesn't want to talk about it. The police and the army doesn't want to say it, but we know what is happening and we are saying it. Some of you are not aware of the sacrifice that IPOB is making in the police state. Without IPOB, we have been gone by now. What some of you see is what we do on the surface. You don't see what we do when the lights are out. And it is all thanks to some of you, or should I say uh, all of you? Where is the coordinator? Yes, sir. All the people here, are they, are they with us? Most. No, no, no. Uh -huh. I want you to understand something. That the work we are doing is for your own good. It's for the good of yourself and your family. If you don't fight for Biafra, who is going to fight for Biafra? I asked before, when before we started, would you prefer that we do nothing and sit at home and do nothing? Oh. No, I'm asking them. Oh, no. Anybody in America that is not part of IPOB, would you prefer us to sit in our respective homes hmm. and do nothing about it? Oh, no. Huh? No. Oh. Um, where's the deputy? What did um, Tanko Muhammad say? A few days ago, Garden Sharia. Exactly what I said when they appointed that from Wentaba. I said it. That's what happened. Not my people. The man who is not missing enough, not well versed in common law, he doesn't know anything, can barely express himself. Is your chief justice. Mm. And when I meet people on Capitol Hill and I say to them that Nigeria is being Islamized, they say it's not possible. But what is your proof? And I share it to them. Is anybody going to stop them from beginning Sharia? Can you stop them? Can you stop them? No. And you are still a proud Nigerian. <laughs> and you are from the south. And I mean the south, by which I mean the east and the west. Mm. And you are a Yoruba person. You are saying you are a proud Nigerian. Because probably you are a Yoruba Muslim. Your allegiance is to the north. Because the spiritual leader of every Muslim in Nigeria is the Sultan of Sokoto. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. These are the dynamics you need to understand within the zoo for you to appreciate how hopeless people are. Therefore, it does not matter if you're a militant uh, guiding pipeline in the south. It doesn't matter if you're from a Lauren or from Park. It doesn't matter if you're one of those people that their village or their land will possibly appropriated, make way of full settlement in it. Once you are a Muslim, you are answerable to the Sultan of Sokoto as your leader. Do you understand it? Yes. Do yes. yes. you now see why a sizable number of Yoruba people will always misbehave? Because they get their orders from Sultan. Oh, These are the things that most people do not understand. Whereas you have some Yoruba people who are sensible, who are trying to do the best they can to liberate the Yoruba race, you have other people who are far more interested in maintaining their religious brotherhood by pledging their allegiance and, of course, giving it. You now understand what is happening? Do you now see why there is need for us to make haste immediately to ensure that the affair is restored? And the role that you all need to play in it, not by, by wasting our time and um, opening banks and doing things that no one has to do, things that are irrelevant. And I'm asking, uh, how many of you here are talking to your congressman or senator about what, what, what we're passing through back home? 
only four people in this patrol. I tend to go to Senator Gahadi of the land. You should try and do that. There will be a program we are rolling out. That very effort will be managed by our deputy, as we said before, to ensure that wherever we are in the USA, that we make contact, regular contact with our delegation, the capital here, by which I mean senators and congressmen. Absolutely vital, very key in this very effort. You may see it has nothing, but it is huge, I assure you. They will listen to you more than they listen to me. They are now coming from the UK and never, and never ever going to vote for them. They know that very well. That you are the ones that vote for them. And your vote will always count. And there is one thing about Western politicians, they don't play with their constituents. They don't mess with voters. Some of you here can do more work than we are doing. Not by going back and hatching a scheme that is irrelevant. Despite the fact that some of this may be under oath. You know, in this very effort we are making, I said before that the, this race to restore Biafra is a divine project. And the same way the zoo are busy pursuing us all over Washington, D.C., is how Lucifer is pursuing some people as well. Of course, Lucifer opens you, that's under Gabanima. If you are not strong spiritually, you will fall. It is. With the machinations of darkness. You can no longer defend your stance or the stance you took a couple of weeks or a couple of months back. We should do all we can to ensure that such spirit never ever possess us or goes into us. Then Juma said that people are scared of this regime. It is unmatched. Because they understand the mess everybody is in. And to those of them that talk about South, South, Niger, Delta, Delta, Bendel, and God knows what else. When the North speak, when Fulani is talking, they say the North. When Middle Belt tries to revolt or to rise up to assert their identity, they say no, they are rebelling against them. But there are the same people that came and told that this is Niger Delta, this is now South South, this is Bendel, this is Midwest. If you try to do something where they come from, they say no. Some of you don't know that when they talk about the North, that includes the three Igbo local governments in Benue State. Are you aware of that? Yeah. So you have Igbo people who are part of the North. Are we aware of that at all? Are we aware of that at all? Yeah. Don't you mind saying it? And they are they're speaking up and now. Uh, I believe that the zoo is about to come. If they can hold their nerve. And when we say that we want Nigeria to come to an end, not the people who are living in Nigeria, not the various ethnic nationalities in Nigeria, no. We want the name, that edifice, to come to an end. Should the people who wish to come together to be under one nation or under one country, it is their rest prerogative to decide. This is something that neocolonialists don't want us to be saying. They are in Europe and elsewhere around the world. They see what they have created, this thing that they have done in Africa, as something that, um, that they did us a favor. You don't know that? That's what they say. Oh, we don't want anything that will disrupt the colonial boundaries. I, and uh, I keep asking them that um, Scotland can go, yes? Scotland can go. But why can't the Africans go? No, because we don't want to disrupt the boundaries. Some of you don't know the battles we are facing. Some people go on social media and they write, Oh, give us Biafra, please. <laughs> As if it's easy, it's never easy. And the work that IPOB is doing now has never been done before, ever in our history. 
Do you know that after the war, according to Irish records in Ireland, which am I? They say it's five million. Isn't it? I keep saying three point six million. The Irish um, newspaper published. I said it's actually five million people that died. Mm -hmm. Yes, five million dead. There was a in nineteen seventy six after the war. There, there were no group of people that came together to say that what happened to let's try and go. everybody jumped into the wagon of wagon of um, one Nigeria. If they had insisted at least for a public commission of inquiry, some kind of hearing, what is happening today? What happened? Because the Fulani succeeded in committing Holocaust and they got away with Scott Free, they got away with it. That is what is emboldening them to set up their checkpoints. That is why if you if they slap you and you slap back, they kill you. <clears throat> that is the one we come to protest the shooters. Because they were not held to account before. And those that want to be called leaders failed in their duty as leaders then. And that's still failing to this very day. Armenians in America. Again. You know Armenia? Yeah, Have you heard about the Armenian genocide? Yes. Have you heard about it before? Yeah. 19 again? 1921. Armenian genocide was recognized here by Congress. Yes, yes. When? A few days ago, because Armenians in America said if we don't do anything now, the Turkish government can come tomorrow and even kill more people. So, when you bring your suffering to light, you're putting the perpetrators on notice that the world is aware of what you did before. So, if you start again, hold the response. But we have not done it. I don't live in America. I said it from the beginning. Those who started with us from initially, two sets of people will get us Biafra. Two sets of people. Or two things will need to happen. Sorry. Two things will need to happen before Biafra will come. What are those things? The involvement of our women and the rising up of those of you in America. Only America, only no one ever can give us Biafra quietly and peacefully. Are you doubting me? No. We <laughs> must. Everybody. I keep saying this all the time. The Somalis that came yesterday, are they more than us in number in America? Let's be honest. Are they more in number than us? 10,000. That they are organized. They are organized. I wish for once we can put ego, put our self importance, put our very greedy nature behind and try to be fools. Maybe conversation. We've been doing something, we've been wise all these years, but accomplished nothing. Let's try to be foolish a bit. Just yeah, only six months. And you'll be shocked what we can That six months, no envy, no jealousy, no greed. Just do as you're told. For only six months, you will see what we'll achieve in America. Because our enemies are not relenting. And only when do you know plenty of there are those in Britain that that believe that the coming of Biafra will signal the end of the world. <laughs> Listen to me, very everything I tell you is gospel. It may sound very outlandish today, but tomorrow you will come, you'll be the one to write on Facebook. It's true, I heard it before. <laughs> there are those that believe that Biafra, of course, is true. That Biafra is the light of Africa. 
when you meet them during our normal routine meetings, they will never tell you that. They know you more than you know yourself. They know we are industrial. They know we are blessed. They know we are hard work. They know that engineers are born from our mother's womb. They know that very well. It's their responsibility to stop you coming up. So you have more enemies than you can ever dream of. But every power on this very earth belongs to God in heaven. And as I pray, as I pray all the time, do you know why we are successful most times? Because when I go down on my knees to pray to Chukuki Kabiam, I say to him, are you not telling me that you love the Fulanese more than you love your children? And within two or three days, things will begin to happen. There is always confusion in their camp. Who's funny is that? They will say, put your phones on mute. Mm -hmm. Try and put your phones on Sunday. So now that the middle belt has realized, let me tell you what Danjuma said, which is what I have been saying on Radio Biafra from day one in Yoruba land. Everybody seems to have lost their voice. They are scared and people appear not to care about what is happening. They don't care. Now everybody is being consumed. The foreigners cannot come and take the east without, and leave the west alone. It's not possible. And they have the numbers to do so. They have opened their borders. Your own borders are closed. Where theirs are open, you get up the next day and you say, I'm in Nigeria. <laughs> you are helping our backyard and the foreigners are bound. The danger with the caliphate to fulfill their mission and their goal without you knowing it. Every day you wake up and you say, I am a Nigerian. You are advancing the planet course. The only thing that drives them away, both physically and in the spirit, is the name Biafra. Once you mention Biafra, I don't want to go Always. Spirit. Danjuma said, if you want the details of what is happening in Nigeria, I'll give it to you privately. But I am the kind I give you mine in public. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. In public. Uh -huh. That's what he said. He said, he said, he said it here. If I tell you what is happening in Nigeria today, you will no longer sleep. He went on to say, Sir, so Chief Ayo Adebanjo's warning and advice is very timely. If you want details, I will give it to you privately. Well, well, you know, at the age of 18. But he said, What is he afraid of? And I said, Because he is not a Biafra. Yeah. Only Biafra speak the truth and damn the consequences. Mm -hmm. Only us. The way in the other. No, that. Of and this is something we all need to understand. The same isolate and kill they employed when they killed Sarah Wewa, they used to kill Adakaburo before him. They will continue to use to kill us, to divide, to kill, to eliminate. Once you're vulnerable, they pick you up and you're gone. Despite all the years of service and servitude to them, all ignored. Remember now, even remember when we were small. You know, when you were born, did I give you goat or chicken? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. As a child. Yes. And you grew up with that chicken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. Yes. Are you all listening? Yes. <laughs> You come back from school, you drop your school back, the first thing you want to do. Do you know the funniest thing? One Easter or one Christmas or New Year's Eve. Your mom will ask you to come bring that same And get it. Some of us turn to emergency vegetarian. 
that hurts no good. That is is too now. That is our life with the Fulani's in between. They are looking. Oh, I have a Fulani friend. Oh, I am sure. Oh, yeah, man. When I preached to him and told him that they're wasting their time, they said, No, I have a friend. I have a, one of my friends in Sokoto. <laughs> one of my friends in Canada. One of my friends in Medigri. But to talk about uh, no, uh, uh, none of his friends come. Oh. Did they come? No. no. They, uh, they came to IPOD to do something about That is your Lord with the full hands in this. Mm -hmm. They pretend they love you, they pretend they like you. They despise you. And it is a good thing now that the Yorubas are beginning to realize <clears throat> that they themselves are not immune to what the Flanese are doing. You say you are a Nigerian. The Yoruba Flanese servant will say they love you. They will say, oh, why are you asking for the Africa? That's what they will ask you on social media. Oh, I grew up with um with um mm -hmm. with, uh, Yemi. We all grew up in Lagos. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm against the Afro. I don't want this your Afro thing. This this your be Afro of a thing. I want to get the right word. That's your be Afro of a thing. That's your be Afro. Of thing. That's your be Afro. <laughs> Have you asked yourself this question before? Why is it that no seaport is working? Have you ever asked yourself that question before? Have you asked yourself that question before? Yes. Why is e water seaport not working? Why is Calabar not working? Why is water not working? Have you asked yourself that question before? Before you decide to be a good Nigerian, have you asked yourself why you have no international airport on my way here? Yeah. We drove past BWI, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. DC. That is Dallas as well. DC. Dallas. Dallas. DC too. That's even the Reagan one. Yeah. 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 In in a very small yeah. area, so to speak. Look at one. Three one. international airports. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself that is claiming you're a Nigerian. I'm Igbo. I have a bad friend. I have a WhatsApp friend. And uh, we play together. We go to club together. How many international airports do you have mm -hmm. and how many do they have not when we say what we say people accuse us of hatred mm -hmm. oh you hate people you know that is a lie we want everybody to be free there is no justification for you're about to collude with the north it's planning he suffer us to kill, to impoverish us, to put us in so much agony and so much pain. The hold up yesterday is from Head Bridge on the Jatuo. Mm -hmm. Did you see the video? Mm -hmm. Hold up. And I keep asking myself, we have we have more people in the US than any other ethnic group. Is that am I wrong? That's right. Right. Why must you keep quiet when such a thing is happening to you? Do you think that the love of your people is by wearing in Siago and going to a function on a Saturday? <laughs> that doesn't mean you love your people. It doesn't mean that. Never. It means you're a pretty glutinous fool. The only time you identify with your people, albeit so cowardly, is when there is uh, rice or chicken and the offense are involved <laughs> and drink. <laughs> the way you treat your people, if those we are meeting here in America were to teach us that way, do you think that the Afro would come? No. We get better treatment from foreigners and your child, white people more than our own. The way things are back home, are you happy? No. no. Are you happy? No. no. 
Anybody who lives in America and you have children, you say Biafra will not come. Your children cannot follow you up. Your name will die in America. Yeah. If you are in America and you say no to Biafra, you say no to IPOB, you see what is happening and you keep quiet, you will lose your children in America. Amen. They will marry that people here. Mm -hmm. They will marry Hispanics here. Mm -hmm. Your name will die in this very place. Amen. 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 Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, let me ask you this do you think we are doing what we are doing to be what no why do you think we do, we are doing, let's be honest with ourselves why do you think i'm doing what i'm doing love of country love of your people love of your people let me say it one more time i am not leading ipop to become the president of biafra will not be no matter what i am not doing it so i will get contract or land or influence whatever i told them yesterday once biafra comes i will go to a place called the in my village I will build a house and I will build a ditch around it. I will build people and I will put crocodiles inside. <laughs> <laughs> because starving people is not easy. It's the most difficult job in the world. I see Trump sweating sometimes while they're doing it. <laughs> I, and I keep saying to myself, I wish Trump can come and head one, one group alone in the Apala. I'm sure our competitors are here, they can testify, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, our competitors so. are here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I want money with them. Uh, I think I tell you. all the same, mm -hmm. we love our people because they're very unique. Yes. Yes. A very special breed. Yes. In spite of all the, I wouldn't call it disappointment, in spite of all the challenges, challenges that we have to battle with, we are encountering. <laughs> there are people in prison right now. People have sacrificed themselves for this very effort. 28 died in my house that I faced. Because of them, we match on. And because of them, the Afro will come. Uh, 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 okay. I have no problem. <laughs> and our message to all those who are unfortunate enough to find themselves in the zoo, courtesy of the British, the mission of IPOB is to set everybody free. We are not going to come to your land to ask you what is in your land. Instead, we'll give you the ones we have. And I want to repeat on record, on record, that every part of the zoo will receive abundant oil and gas to do with as, as they please. Everybody yeah. telling you that we are fighting for Biafra because of oil and gas. No. You know that person is very, very stupid. And wicked. And wicked. And wicked. It is in our interest as Biafrans to make sure that Yoruba has oil and gas in abundance to grow their economy. Planet is then to understand what economic growth is all about. <laughs> I will even go as far as the of West Africa. For the simple reason that it is in our interest that they are also in our interest. Mm -hmm. I've said it before. Yes. I think America is about to sign the NAFTA. Is it the new revised NAFTA? Yeah, 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 by Trump. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. signed it. No, they yeah. 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 have it. It is in the interest of America that Canada is doing well. Yeah, Canada. That Mexico, Mexico is doing well. well. <laughs> if Mexico is doing well, do you think they will cross over the border to come again? If we don't help to grow the economies of Oduduwa, uh, of, our neighbors, of our neighbors, so to speak, mm -hmm. then the influx will be unsustainable. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't. Not at all. Therefore, everything we preach, everything you hear, this effort to restore Biafra is the responsibility of every man, woman, and child in the USA. The state of Israel was born here. Yes. It Albania was born here. Kosovo was born here. Even Eritrea was born here. Yes. They, they don't even hide it. Southern Sudan was born here. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
They say that those with Abraham as father don't go to hell. Is that correct? Let me see you Uh -huh. We have all of you in America. Why should I come to Capitol Hill and be struggling all the time to convince your own congressman or woman mm -hmm. senator mm -hmm. when you're there? Okay. And it won't cost you anything. Mm -hmm. I don't even listen to you more than they listen to me. These are the assets we have that the zoo cannot stop. Your congressman is not going to give your name to, 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 to DSX back home. That's not. You can make phone calls. You can follow them on Twitter. You can tweet, can't you? Yes. Don't tweet them. Just tweet your local, even your mail, and say this is what is happening in my land. We need to bring the issue of Biafra to the streets of America. I've already sent us Christmas greetings, those uh, senators. Very good. These are the things because you are the ones voting for them. Yes. These are the things you need to understand. I don't know how to say sometimes for us to begin to appreciate the enormity of this very task and the need for those of you in America to rise up and do the needful. Do what you're supposed to do. We are marching next year in July, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you have not taken the holidays, if you've not booked that July again in the Ghana again. No, 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 I think they said no. On the eve of July 20. Okay, after their independence, okay, which is great. July 20th. June 20th. Yeah. So they brought it forward. June. Okay. Uh, sorry, June 20th. Okay. They've changed from July okay. now to June. You know, we are tenants. Is anything the landlord says? The will come out. Okay, the plan will be out very soon. Right. Now, now, July 20th. June. 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 Sorry, June. June 20th. Mom here, July, and I'm missing. <laughs> June, June 20th. June 20th. Yes. Go and get all your children and your grandchildren out of school on that very day. Is it holiday period or is it school period? Yeah, yeah. 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 school is about to close. Yeah, which is uh, elementary school. Elementary yeah. school. Yeah. yeah. And high school. Yeah. We need all our children no, no, on Saturday. in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. Okay. Come here on Saturday. For this very much. Everybody must come. Okay, show her number. Everybody must come to let the world know how big we are here. Educate. Once we do it, they'll start looking for us. We're not going to look for them. No, no. They'll come to oh, us. Oh, no, game of numbers. Because no, we have the numbers. Mm -hmm. And we can make a difference. It is about time that we begin to reason. As I said, the next six months of 2020, I am begging all of you, those who are here and those all over the world, we have been doing our sense, 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 sense for many years. Hold on. 80 years. It does no way. <laughs> I am begging their friends all over the world to try to be stupid for the first six months of next year. Yes. And you see what we're achieving. Yeah. As a people. The only people now stopping the Janja weed from their march to the south is IPUB. Oh. Are you in doubt? No. Are you in doubt? No. I don't know what is happening back home. We are everywhere we own the land. The land so belongs cool. to us. And there's nothing Alamazi can do. That That's land is our choice. And they can never come in. And I have not told you, also, as a result of the moves we are making in Washington, telling them what the army is doing, also got the information today that the Nigerian army have decided to pull out of Jaffa land. It is the occupied. <laughs> Some of you don't understand what diplomacy is. When you meet a congressman or a congresswoman and you're telling them these are your problems, they may say to your face, I'm not interested, they say, go and resolve it because they are. When they go back, they think about it and they say there is merit in what you're saying. And then they act upon it. They may not tell you. 
This country is here to serve a purpose. And we built this country. Yes. And that held us. Yep. America is strong today all over the world because they received 200 years of free labor. Is that correct or not? Yes. Right. You know, I speak the truth. Even when I went to China, I also speak the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Those 200 years of free labor came from our ancestors. Is that true or false? No. So we must take advantage of our situation here to help our land. Very, very important. Very, very important. Very, very important. The, uh, the zoo army said, That we have no, they have no secret challenges. Find them in the east. They're all the same. They have to stay there. But, but because of IPOB. Yeah. This mm -hmm. And as I keep saying, every generation that will come after us, even their children, <laughs> their children's children, they will remember IPOB. <laughs> Yes. Sunny said to Danjuma, let Nigeria burn and be free instead of hiding the truth. People hey. <laughs> don't get scared to speak out before they are now speaking because we sacrificed a lot of lives. The same IPOB remained very resolute. That is why those with a little courage are now coming out to say what previously they were afraid of saying. And he went on to say, he was a former senator, to say Nigeria is sitting on many fault lines is an understatement. The difference between IPOB and any other group, any other nationality, any other ethnic group is that we say something, we stand on that very thing that we're saying, and we do something about it. Unlike the rest. Unlike the rest. And that is why we remain ever so formidable. My happiness today is that right across Biafra land, I said across the whole Biafra land, everywhere is reverberating and resonating to the message that IPO is. IPOB in Lebanon, of all places, Lebanon. <laughs> it's entirely made up of our brethren from Africa. Awesome. Wow. And we do. I don't want you to think that IPOB is an evil affair no, no, no. or a city across the Niger. Everybody wants to be a part of it because they have seen the light, they have seen the truth. That what we have been saying is the truth. We are not against anybody. We are not asking to take your land. To take nothing at all. But for everybody to be free to decide what they want to do with their lives. Yes. Simple. That is why today they reference us. And no fences will be made. They don't mend any fence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's their name? I don't want to mention them. Those that work for anger the life. So the people that issue them feed me this. All those who go eating. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what they said? Let me see if I can find it. Because anytime I do news analysis, I always use what they say. I always use what comes out of their mouth. Do you know what the al Majri boy said? He said that um, they should go and um, and do um, uh, that the zoo should incorporate referendum in the constitution. Did anybody read that very news? No, you didn't. I will find it. Which did I send it to you? I'm going to find it. That was what they said. That they want, I have it with me. 
have it with me. Somebody sent it to me on my way here. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Because these are the things that we are doing that some of you do not know. It's resonating within the zoo. The person actually said, and many good news on my way here, to be honest with you. Even um, the Wall Street Journal have written about what the Fulanese are doing. It's here. Really? Wall Street, Wall Street. I'm aware here, was sent to me. So, mm. that the work we are doing on Capitol Hill is um, yielding a lot of results. So, of course, of course it is. Of course it is. I want to find it for you so you can, you can read it. Uh -huh. It's from the Nation newspaper. Nation newspaper. <laughs> Not Stinubu. Umu Alamajiri Nakon. Alamajiri, those Alamajiri kids. Northern group. Northern group. Six, inclusion of referendum in constitutional amendment. Yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> And they gave reason as to why. Nation, don't look for Nation newspaper. Okay, you want to network here, Nation newspaper, please look for it. Northern group. Seek for referendums to be included in the constitution. Look for it and find it for me. If you find it, you can it. And they said it is because of IPOB. Find it for me. For those of you that thought that what we are doing was meaningless, that is confirmation. Have you seen it? Has anyone seen it? No one network in America. No network of network. The creator of communication. Communication. Find it for me, please. It's a nation newspaper. The communication inventor. Absolutely. Have you found it? Found it. Thank you very much. Northern Group Six Inclusion of Referendum mm -hmm. in Constitutional Amendment. Constitutional Amendment. Amendment. Mm -hmm. huh? They are now urging the National Assembly to, without further delay, okay. <laughs> because they know that it's trying to see, right. without further delay, right. commence the amendment of the Constitution. With the primary aim of inserting the referendum clause in the constitution that will pave the way for the restructuring of the country. Mm -hmm. They also went on to say that they, they are now faulting the failure of previous administrations <laughs> for failing to include referendum mm -hmm. <laughs> in the constitution. <laughs> we would have guaranteed member ethnic nations for the very first time they are acknowledging that the zoo is made up of ethnic nations. They are right in self determination. According to this Alamajiri that was saying this, if this clause had been in the constitution, the country would have been saved. Listen to the grammar. The country would have been saved. The violent effects of agitation by militant ethnic groups in the country, such as IPOB. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I told you before <laughs> that after dealing with them, they will beg us to take our dear friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. after dealing with them, they will say, Take this, your dear friend, mm -hmm. and go. Mm -hmm. If the Fulani are wise, <laughs> if they are sensible, they will give us they will give us referendum tomorrow morning. Yes. Or else. We will destroy the Fulani image all over the world. Yes. Yeah, there will be worth nothing. Oh, yeah, it's almost done. They have been exposed. Thank you for the exposed already. They will work nothing. Playing with us. They don't know how yeah, to tell me. Yeah. They don't understand how focused we are. They don't understand what we are prepared to sacrifice for Biafra. <laughs> They underestimated us. It's the good thing they did. Yes. Oh, good, buddy. 
If they knew how serious we were, I'm sure when I was arrested, they would have killed me or shot me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and damn it. Now they know. Mm-hmm. Now they know we are their friends. Now they know there is no going back. Now they understand how serious we are. The Yorubas can choose to be slaves in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. The Biafrans will never be slaves. No, no, no. Never. Uh, Don't put us in the bag. <laughs> never. They have that lost their voice. That we have not lost ours. Yes. We will we continue to speak. I also have a message for all component ethnic groups in Biafra land. Those that they will give peanuts to and tell you, oh, don't worry, we'll clean your village. <laughs> that is fine, Jimmy. Those that will go to, because that's what they do all the time. I'll do it. I call it the warrant chief methodology. Mm-hmm. You know, we had no, forget all this AIDS thing you're saying, you know, we had none before. Oh, of course. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You know that. Mm-hmm. When somebody says, oh, my father is the is the is the traditional ruler or the yes, or oh, the yeah. king. There's no king in our land. Never. These are Warren chiefs imposed on us by the British. Mm-hmm. And that is what the planet is doing now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they determine who your leaders should be. I said it before, some people didn't quite understand. You still have your make up by hand <laughs> That's it. Or mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. We are going to tell an example with him. They were the first set of people. When the Polanese came into our land, when they came into Oka and beyond during the war, their aim, according to Mutala Mohammed from his mouth, their aim was to kill everybody. Every male child up to the age of 10 to 12, then convert them to Islam, appoint them to be the leaders of our community. When that very plan failed, when that plan failed, they used one or two people to go and form an I keep saying it all the time. Because I may call a meeting now of a few people together to start something. And you wouldn't know what I have in mind. You wouldn't know who sent me. Some of our people here in the USA, a governor will come and give them some money. Say, so call your friends. And they call their friends. And they start one thing or the other. Isn't that correct? Mm-hmm. Isn't that correct? Mm-hmm. That was what happened to Hanese. A strategy. And Ohanese became a tool at the hands of the Planet Caliphate. We wish to destroy our defense. Because Modo was arguing with me that Ohanese was formed by a notable Igbo man. <laughs> and I said, You're talking as a clown of, you know, falsehood. If they were formed, imagine that somebody. With my type of outlook, or should I say the outlook of IPOB, we have to be in charge of Ohanese. Do you think three Igbo local governments should be in Benway State? No. <laughs> no. 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 Do you think Ebama will be divided into three? No. no. Do you think Go people will be outside no. Ebola? No. 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 Because the place called the Jaram in Cross River State, you hear what I'm saying? Jaram. Jaram. Which is a Jaram? Jaram. 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 Do you know there are people coming to sing Cross River State? Yeah. Are you aware? They caught you and put you. When when Alamajiri wants to draw the map of the zoo, they put one tiny dot. That's what they're doing in, in, in DC. They come to the office of the senator. They show, show one tiny red dot in a green uh, uh, landmass. And say, oh, these people are doing all this. They, they only deal. They're not even the majority of the people. Uh, that is why I say to our people, in Efi, Kibibio, 
Eket or on the jockey. I'm very glad that they we are now beginning to work. That if we don't bind together, as the Yorubas have now realized, that they need to work with IPOB in order to stop this in the flux of Satan. Mm -hmm. If you don't work because with us, all of us together as one family, this great IPOB, we will be overrun by the Fulani Caliphate. The Fulani themselves cannot, they have never fought any war before. Never. People always fight their wars for them. That's right. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Fulani gets you to do their dirty work for them. Fulani did not defeat the Hausa. Fulani convinced the Hausa to fight themselves. Mm -hmm. During the war, Polani convinced T.Y. Danjuma and the Middle Belt to fight the The entire infantry corps of the Nigerian army was made up of people from the Middle Belt. Yes, 75%. 75. Yet they are in Sokoto, calling the shots, saying, oh, we are one Nigeria. We know. What happened to the North? And I said to the North, if you were together and won, how come you started with only 13 states of Sharia? Why not the rest? Do you people know that the Wagi people, where Bangida or Babangida's mom comes from, they are agitating for their own nation in the suit? Those that own Abuja, are you aware of that? They call them Gwari, their name is Wagi. Because in Hausa language, they cannot, because of the, of the syntax, they cannot pronounce Wagi. That's why they call them Gwari. <laughs> yes. They cannot, uh, uh, and uh, some that speaks Hausa cannot pronounce Wagi. They cannot go and try. You're not asking them to pronounce president. <laughs> These are historical facts in the zoo. Today they are fighting to be free. And I want to encourage every group in the middle belt. I want to encourage everybody, every ethnic group in the zoo to rise up against this impending doom and disaster. Or else we will all be consumed. And what happens to you? How that people will happen to all of us? By the time you know it is too late. Do you think the, the left will help you abroad? No, of course not. You think they will help you? No, no. That is why we need to work very hard to ensure that the Afra is restored in our time. Others may fall apart, but this very IPOB will never ever fall apart. Never ever ever. <laughs> I have told you this story before, but I will repeat the same story tonight. I will keep saying it until it filters into our skull. Well, many people are migrants. They are not aborigine. They are not original. Yeah. Yeah. Listen very carefully. They are not original to Sokoto. Sokoto is Kobe, not Sokoto. The real name is Gobert, not Sokoto. I repeat, Polani is the king. The stupidity of the average Hausa person is the reason why we are in the mess we are in today. Understand this very well. If you understand the mindset and the approach of the Polani, you will be able to defeat them. We in IPOB, we know. And that is why we are defeating them. They came into Sokoto with their cattle as usual. That happened in 1754. In 1754, they came into Gobert, pretending they have come. You know what they started saying? Oh, we have come to fight corruption. Corruption. From Senegal. All the way from Senegal, the same way today in Adia State, they are fighting for everyone. And they said to the Hawansa people that we actually Muslims before this handles came. That uh, the version of Islam you are practicing idolatrous is not consistent with the teachings of the what we now know today to be the Wahhabi sect. That we need to change them. They employed Otman Dampodio as an ordinary teacher. 
a teacher to teach the children of the king, who was then in Katsina. Are you following me? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Like those who are opening banks. You came to my house, I cooked for you, I presented it. Come on, children, you see not nobody. I'm not going to be there. I called you to come and eat in my house. Mm -hmm. And you're not telling me that uh, the way I'm shuffling the rice is not good, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stand out of me. But it's my rice. I can do it. They told, they told the Hausa people that their kings were corrupt. They know the yes, and I was back home. <laughs> you did not ask the person telling you that your kings were corrupt what his motives were. And uh, oh, funny enough, can you turn off can you turn off your phone? I'm not your Please turn off your phone if you can. Silent. And in 1904, 19, oh, sorry, in 1804, 1804, okay. he, he managed to convince other peasants that there is the thing stopping them is corruption. They have to fight this war against corruption. And they started war against corruption. <laughs> the house has foolishly fought war against corruption against their own people and overthrew their kings. And the Fulanese replaced them as their enemy. They, as the Fulanese, listen to this very carefully. This is, it has a very funny history. As the Fulanese conquered the Hausa people, the Hausa helped them to conquer the Wadi people. Mm. Mm. Yes. You know, the Hausa people, they have, they have, is it 14 okay. families they have, isn't it? The seven bastards and the seven legitimate bastards. Yeah. Yeah. Bastards. Bastards. Yeah. Bastards. Bastards. Yeah. 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 They conquered them. One innocuous plan to conquer the Hausa people ended up at the confluence of River Niger and River Beni in Kogila. They started moving towards the east. When they got to Medugri, the Shehu of Bronu told them, no, 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 that here, we, there is Islam here already. Please go back. That was why Bronu remained untainted for a very long time. As they conquered the houses and the ethnicities of the Middle Belt, they now descended on the Yoruba people. They conquered the Yoruba people. That is why they are Muslims of Yoruba land. Not just in all the way to, to Lagos Island. 80% of Muslims. They came to Biafra land. As you know, they would. They came to Biafra. What happened to them? <laughs> 1677. They died. There's a fact in all of them. 1677. <laughs> Ordinary says a plan. For those who don't believe in God in heaven, people will gather up for me. Because there was need for God in heaven to preserve his children. Always. Yes. 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 And they died. And the plane went. Mm -hmm. went. And they were very, very upset about it. 97%. <laughs> And uh, good man, Don Fodio swore that they would give the Quran in the Atlantic. And the only person 
that they felt who do that in modern times was Muhammad. Yes, that's this, that's their mission to bring Islam into Afghanistan, to conquer others. Because we are very proud people, we are blessed people, that is why they are doing all they can to subdue and to subjugate you. So anytime you foolishly say to yourself, I am a Nigerian, you are advancing mm -hmm. the Fulani agenda, agenda. Yes. In, your life, in your life, not just ever, yes, in your own life. Mm -hmm. Anytime you rise up in America and you say, I am a Nigerian, <laughs> You are responsible for your children not going home. Yes. You are responsible for the end of your lineage. Because we give birth to children and we name them Ahamefu. If Biafra doesn't come, I'm going to get from America. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, God forbid. The only thing that can bring your name back to the village, because the best. Days of our lives we spend abroad, isn't it? Oh, yeah. When we are dead, oh, no, 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 no. when we are useless to our community, yeah. that's when she comes back. <laughs> I need you to understand this very, very clearly. Americans are in America developing America. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Europeans are in Europe developing Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Only when they are expatriates. People now who've taken South Africa from them, they're now even returning back to Europe tomorrow. How do you think that you can live in America, grow your family in America, mm -hmm. and where you come from will be developed? How is that possible? Mm -hmm. Oh, some of you think that if you make your money in America and you go back home and you build a story building, somehow you've done something. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't, that's not an achievement. No. Never. You no. build a house and you will live, I think it's an achievement. <laughs> no. Huh? No, what party. contribution are you making towards the advancement of the lives of other people? No library, no hospital, no library, no hospital, no road, nothing, no road to the house. Yeah. Search. <laughs> do you see why we need Biafra? Yeah. And do you see yeah. why you need Biafra more than Biafra needs you? Yeah. 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 Because it sounds very perverse, but it's true. Biafra is actually a selfish enterprise. If you don't own Biafra as your own property, as your own thing, I'm doing it for myself, you'll fall by the wayside. Yes. Always. You can't do Biafra for Namdekano or whoever is called. Never. Yes. You're doing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because in this Biafra, that is what will guarantee the continuity of your name, the development of where you come from, mm -hmm. the pride you will feel as a free person. Mm -hmm. All this race, this race, that. <laughs> Are you not tired of it? Yeah? Nobody has said black and white, black and white, every place in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you not tired? Yes. Are yeah. you not tired yeah. staying yeah. in yeah. yeah. You yeah. can yeah. never, yeah. ever fulfill your life. No, no. Yeah. 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 Are you not tired? Yeah. 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 We are tired. Yeah. 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 Maybe some people enjoy yeah. being slaves. Yeah. 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 But I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't enjoy it. Yeah. Never. And I never enjoy it. Passport. Outside, after doing your slave labor outside, you come back to your land, and uh, and uh, Fulani Janjaru is loading it over you, and you accept that? No. Oh. I don't know. People who are illiterate, you to school. I'm wicked. Dark illiterate, uneducated, mm -hmm. never impossible to educate. No matter how much you educate them. <laughs> That's what they are. They are culture. I'm we keep culture. asking the same question that I ask all the time. Can you show me one full and poet? Never. No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Not Can you show me one full and scientist? No. <laughs> do we have any full and scientists? No. How come they cannot do anything right? Never met a funny doctor before.
Have you met them before? Yeah. Have you seen them before? Yeah. How come they cannot be a doctor? <laughs> they are not pharmacists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they are good enough to be president of the country. I know. <laughs> and, and you expect to be developed. Is that possible? Oh. Yeah. Sometimes I ask myself what type of planet are people living on? Mm -hmm. People who are blessed, people who are industrious, people who are hard work. They are not qualified to be president. Yeah. It is those. Nina Chinama, you cannot be present. Do you see how poor reason in the zoo? People who are nomadic are not qualified to hold the highest office in the land. Those who are educated are in America are doing irrelevant jobs. And you're telling me that all is well in Nigeria. You're telling me that to be a proud Nigerian. <laughs> Who is a proud Nigerian here? Who is a proud Nigerian here? No problem. I want to to understand something. Very, very good. It is your responsibility. Yafra is yours. You must own it. If you have, if you're not aware of what is happening back home. I please urge you to acquaint yourself with the atrocities going on back home. If you don't know already, you ought to know by now. Our land is under occupation. You cannot come out as a free being to express or to set whatever right they claim they have given to you by their sham constitution. That is why the Afra is going to come. And that is why nobody can ever, ever stop, stop it. Therefore, as we are gathered here today, I must make it very, very clear that Biafra belongs to each and every one of us. Yes. IPOB is our own thing. It belongs to everybody. It belongs to everybody. And try to always resist the temptation because the devil will come. I assure you. Try always to resist the temptation of the devil speaking through you, of always finding fault and not being able to do things the right way. IPOB is a family under one command structure. Only one, not two, not three, not four. Once you're under oath, you have sworn to abide by the structures of IPOB. Not your own. I am fond of when people come to see me privately, we discuss one or two things, you know, we have a mind or what we are doing. And I've noticed that each time I do that, some people go out and try to implement that very thing that I've said what to do. And that is a very serious disease. We are not in any competition. With anybody, all we want is the Afra. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Had the was little behaved himself, they have done it for IPO. I have said it many times. Had they been consistent, truthful, and transparent, they have done it for IPO. I don't want our people to think that somehow we are in some sort of um, race between each other. Uh, it's against I was I was not uh, no Fulani, Fulani. not I was keep saying I was a Fulani sometimes. If we tell you what we have in mind to do, unless there is an order to go and implement that very thing, you are not allowed, you are not at liberty to implement it. I said whatever thing you can do, do to ensure that Biafra is ready. doesn't mean take an idea that belongs to the US with it right into the When your mom says to you after school, oh, go into the kitchen, there's a pot of soup there, take some and eat. 
She's not asking you to go and empty all the meat and the fish inside yeah. the soup. <laughs> You're supposed to have common sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that correct, Mama? Yeah. We have a problem which may be we are going to have a day of prayer and fasting. And more joining in the spirit to leave us alone. I'm telling you the truth. Because our enemies always come together to fight us. We must always band together to repair them. Unless you're asked to do something, <coughs> don't do it. Go and get people to preach this very gospel to those around you. Go to your workplace, contact your, your senators and your, That's right. your House of Reps members. Take this very word of Biafra to them. The materials you will send to them, we will circulate to you. That's what we want you to do. Not to go and start opening a bank. That's not what I asked you to do. Because if you try that, the name of Biafra has now entered their records. When we now come up with our plan for the bank that we, the corporate bank wanted to float, it was very, very difficult for us to carry that through. We wanted to float a corporate bank, not banking for everyone, for a reason. Why you need such a bank? We lost the war because we couldn't get weapons in. Yeah, what of that? Mm-hmm. That was why we lost the war. Mm-hmm. Our fathers were playing about with sticks, pretending it's a gun. They go into battlefield with nothing. It's only those that can kill on the enemy side. They take their guns, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think Florida can defeat us in a war? No, no. Oh, not possible. Eh? No. <laughs> Even if we are, if we are blindfolded, no. <laughs> they're not strategic. We had no, no guns. <laughs> we had no guns okay. during the war because there was the lines of credit open to us. I'm saying this now because um, they have ruined it. I wanted to do those idiots. They have ruined it. And those of you that were able to speak to, but because you lack discipline, some of you, you listen to nonsense. And the person, was this your idea in the first place? We are fighting for in, in, in Ebo State. Did I ask you to go and fight them? I'm telling you, we are fighting them. This is what we are doing. Did I ask you to go to war front? No. We have men who are doing that. Not your job. Your job is to go out to evangelize, to provide help, to provide funding for, for, the, for the work they're doing on the ground. I didn't ask you to go and fight. Or because IPOB volunteers are in the way fighting. You can't open your own in, um, in an umbrella. That shows lack of discipline. It goes to show that you don't understand. If we take that mentality into a war, we'll lose. That was why Ojibu gave money. From his own pocket, his father's money. Go and buy weapons. So who ate the money? I ran it. This is Am I speaking the truth or not? Yeah. True. This is more That is the same thing here. When you're given a responsibility, when we say to you, hold this position, hold it, and do the best you can. I didn't ask you to go and do something else. A lady went to Red Cross in London in 1968 and had to go and withdraw money to buy relief. Having dying the African. He was arrested by the and the Red Cross account was him. The reason why we want we needed a bank make sure that every line of we can pay for equipment and we didn't open it so you can have Visa card and Master card. But now, what did the bank come on? I did you not come on. on. Giant bank. Can you imagine such ill discipline and stupid? Something so secretive. Now our enemies they know. Now they know. Because they labeled as a terrorist group. We need source of funding that they cannot question.
And it's just you are not Facebook. Some idiots are uh, busy laughing and typing and liking. I see uh, they, are, they are mentally driven. My happiness is that they will never come home. They will never come home. <laughs> because men have died in this very effort. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. What well, better was starting for you and it was beginning in Nepal? I'm sure you saw this boy. <laughs> starting to save you so you can have land to go back. It's your saying America opening a bank. That is why an organization as big as the World Book Congress could not make any iota of difference in our lives. <laughs> big as they are. With WIC here, why would you know they cannot come from the UK to come here to lobby your, your, your lawmakers? Why should I? You are the ones to do it and tell me what is happening here. Mm -hmm. What we ask you to you, you will not do. In case they have a to do them. Ordinary one, one dollar, one dollar and get it. Do you know how much it costs to engage a lobbying firm? I ask all of you, go, go and try and recruit one tomorrow. And then we quote. Ordinary one, one dollar. One, one dollars. Can't you afford one one dollar? I thought you can't you never in a month. You can't afford one dollar because all our people are laughing at us. They are counting on that thing you have inside you, that destructive demonic spirit to question and to argue everything. That's what they're counting on. Always, always. When they speak, they say, We know you can never be united. We know only one dollar only. Is it going to kill you? No, no. never. No one dollar. Not an IPOB. I'm going to do. Better you ask what to. When is this a Biafra come? <laughs> That's how they should be. funny now. It's not funny. Mm -hmm. um, others came here and they got something. Because some of these people, they will drive us away. They will say, oh, God brought you to bring Biafra. Biafra has now come so you can go home and, and, and dance there. Let us, let technocrats in America come. After all, I'm a manager in, with um, IBM or Google. That's what you say to us. And mark it down. You know, they, they, this thing is going. You will come from America to tell us uh, that uh, you are coming from. That we that suffered and died should get away. You say that. Are you doubting me? Yeah, no. no, 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 no. That's what I want to hold us. I know. I know that. We have the awareness. Come and join us to make Biafra a possibility. Before it becomes the reality of our time. Because your participation is very, very key. Learn something from America. Everybody supported Washington, didn't they? You don't support Washington. Learn something. Learn something. The thing about it is that um, because we are very, you know, the whole world is listening. You know, people say, don't watch your little in the public. <laughs> but I watch my own in the motor park. Oh you need to understand something. We are very competitive by nature. Isn't it? We yeah. have love to compete. This person has built one story building, I want to build two. It's a very good thing. Right? Very good thing. That also 
predisposes us to destructive envy. Very destructive. We are not in IPOB, in this Biafra Resolution Project, we're not in a competition. But if you have a superior idea, you can bring it up. It's my job to listen to advice. I may not take your advice today, but I may see something tomorrow and decide to implement it. The fact that I'm not using your advice now doesn't mean I hate you or don't regard you or don't know what I'm doing. When we are advising the zoo, listening to them, do they believe us? Hmm? Hmm? No, you're not an answer. Like we need to understand this. I think you look at what is ahead. It's bigger than what we have. That Biafra belongs to you. It is your own. It doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to It doesn't belong to IPU. I know in a wider context, everybody is IBUB. Insofar as this movement is concerned, all over the world, pushing and moving ahead, it doesn't belong to us. It belongs to every single soul. And by the time we have run this race, only those who are worthy, it doesn't have to be us, will be eligible to serve. Yeah. Of course. Now, we don't know who those people are going to be. You, the people, will decide. That is why I urge you this very evening from here at night time in Biafra land to do all you can to support our effort. A lot of things I cannot say on air will be coming your way. Just do it. It won't cost you anything. Just go and do it. So it's going to happen. And some of you will think, instead of you to contribute your own one dollar $1 every month, you'll be thinking, yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> no. Somebody will tell you, oh, we're up to 2000 in Baltimore. You say, your hands. Hi. No, one dollar times. Two thousand. Two thousand. Now we're talking here. Two thousand. Afar babu gego. Hey. Afar babu gego. But when an imaginary comes to your village to kill people, you start calling IP. And the reason why we are asking you to contribute a dollar every month is how it is done in the olden days. That is the only census we can have. That is how and how we know how many people who are with us. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yeah. So the same way that we go to your Congress and they ask us how many Biafrans are living in the Maryland uh, 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 state. I can't tell them unless I call the coordinator and they tell me those X, Y, Z amount of people paid. I wonder that. That is how you identify that you are very serious. That is why in our land we don't point at people. Are you aware of that? You know why we don't point at people? And I are gone. We don't count one, two, three, four. We don't do that. So you don't know the reason why? No. No, we one dollar first. <laughs> <laughs> a woman gives birth back home you never ask a woman how many children have you are you aware of that yeah it's a recent thing oh how many kids do you have we don't do it you don't count is I refer you to the book of numbers. When you go and read it, you'll be able to understand. Right. The fact is that you you identify yourself or you are counted based on what you can do. Hmm? I will tell I've told this joke before. It's from Mbisa, it's an Mbisa joke. And um and it ties into this one dollar. I I yeah, run out of time. Yeah, no. And all those people that spat at right? it's back across the road. Okay. Okay. On, the, on the street, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. if you're parked at the back, there, please move to the move across the road and park over there. The next building, the next building, and the park is on the street. No, this side is okay. <laughs>
Okay, the dog that the the reason why I'm not approaching. I'm not approaching down here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Why English? 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 My question is, which I also commit myself to doing, is how, what's the best way to raise money? Is my question. Money. Um, thank you very much. Uh, our brother is asking what is the best way to raise the money. If you have been paying this one, one dollar a month, sir, you don't need to ask you to do anything, isn't it? No, like one dollar, one thing, come on. You know, from there, we pay them. But what you do concede to is that lobbying is a very, very expensive business. I don't remember. I don't think are you, are, you, are you one of us? Okay. okay. That's fine. Okay. Now, um, there are those that may not wish to participate in the open. They provide help and assistance by the bank door. Huh? Yes. They are also welcome to do so. Hmm? So not everybody will be out there and for doing something. Some will also want to support the uh, bank door. must accommodate very, very important. Um, that was why I said that Onyema is the last person who would help. You are all aware that every group in the North, including the Alamajiri kids, are all sponsored by their people. <laughs> if we can achieve what we have achieved, given our limited resources, imagine what we can do. With so much more. Imagine what we can do. Lobbying is very, you know, the zoo, it's a thing, is, is a banner that is going to do here. The zoo's firm is called Banner, and the ones with them. Who can we go to the next day? Go the next day. <laughs> Time to rob each us. Telling the whole world we are terrorists. Telling them that we started the war and all the rest of it. All the junk. That the zoo can dredge up, they give to them, they submit to their people. So it's a very serious business, hobby, and it costs a lot of money. And my happiness did you even manage to afford to pay them? I don't know. But we are doing the best we can. Why every contribution you make never goes to waste. None goes to waste. I don't have a car understand this i don't have a car i don't have a business i have no landed property i have nothing i have no savings my savings is the coming of biafra when biafra comes if you want me to starve to death then i will starve to death in uh -huh. because i i need to keep my hands clean able to go very far because I understand Biafra more than most of them. Any day you become tempted, you will start putting your mind on earthly things, buildings, hotels, uh, investment, you're finished. And we can't afford to do that. Everything I want, you are going to give me inside Biafra, not outside it. Oh, you know, in this life is inside Biafra, not outside. You can't have a mountain and then you're resting, then the mountain is in front. Does that make any sense to anyone? Yeah. Elohim has taken everything from me, my mother and my father. There is no other, I say to Chico Gikadem when I pray, there is nothing else from me. You've taken everything. 
Now, all I'm asking for is for Biafra to come. Because every sacrifice has been made. What else is, is, is holy? And he said, I should come and speak to you. That you people are very stubborn. Very difficult. And he said, I should preach Exodus to you, which I will not preach today, about your stubbornness and the way you tempt him. And the way your behavior is what led to people who are beneath you to be ruling over you. If you don't see that as punishment from God, that means spiritually you're blind. You cannot see. People you're better than. People that move cattle from place to place are the ones ruling you. That means that God in heaven is upset with you. You must have done something wrong. And those mistakes is what we're seeking now to correct. To put ourselves on the path of the straight and the narrow. That will make the world be called the northern. Next person, please. Happy OD. Love family. Good time. Good now. I have a young children's young young. Kill them, be safe. And can I get for over 4,000 years mm -hmm. outside Moses' virtual evidence is the first time we have been waking up for I can hear Benjamin Netanyahu a few months ago for this size of Bible coach conference he was telling a lecture that Israel has no constitution. He brought this Bible and told it. This is our constitution. And it started in 1948. We are very happy, IPOB family, here in Maryland and all over the world, that you are using the same foundation Israel used through David, Ben Garion, and uh, Moshe Dayam, and uh, God Amir, who was a student of uh, Arizona University in 1946. And uh, you are making our foundation to be like Israel. And you said it in your first broadcast that you will replicate idea. And uh, that is only hope we will have. And I'll be watching all your brokers and all other brokers. You keep on saying this system. And this is the first This is the first time that using that. That will make Yafa have the integrity and the Ask your question, sir. I don't have questions. All I have is the praise and the foundation. <laughs> and uh, this is only hope we have. The only question is not a question I would like us to have is is in our flag when we are going to host our flag in our freedom and independence. I would like us to include seven uh, stars. Stars, which which means the seven ethnic mm -hmm. of Biafra, with Ofonogu in the middle, Ofonogu, which is command and the status of God, so that Ogabu if Ofonogu na Ebobo ni ino, Ebobo ni ino, all descent in Israel, we must always my name area, we, you know we are not going to advance. And that is my, my, my contribution and I want to do Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like it. I like it very much. I like it. And um, your advice is taken on board. We will do something about it. I said something to people. When I went to Jerusalem to go and pray, you know, when the white man came, the British came, they said we have no history. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
They said you have no history. I don't know they were hiding this from us. Who is Maro to go here? Who if you know? Maro to go. Yes, she is. Can anybody tell me the transliteral meaning of Yeshua in Igbo language? What's the meaning of Yeshua? Yeshua, which is Joshua anyway. No, this is the problem that we have. Yeshua, which the Europeans called Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the name given to him by his father and his mother is Yeshua, Jizoba. Only the Israelites in Israel and us praise God with the name we give to our children no other race does it yeah. <laughs> and um, Chibu Kikabiyama said to me that those that fought before fought under a different banner that we should go to battle with his name Chibu Kikabiyama Okay. And see if we will not be victorious. That's what I'm very certain that we are probably have. <laughs> there are some who don't understand what we are doing. They say they are Omenala and Odinala, who don't understand the spiritual dimension of this. Our land is holy, no doubt about it. I'm not saying it's not. So is also the land of Israel. That is why men go mad. Trying to conquer that place more, please. Yes, always. And there is one original religion, only one, from which the other ones became branches. Is that correct? Yes. 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 That original religion is the knowledge of one supreme creator and, lead and owner of the universe. One that our ancestors worship. Our ancestors worship directly. And because um, Elohim is uh, very fierce, they try to go through others to go and plead when they commit crime. Our ancestors, I mean, no job. they can no longer go and pray directly. They start looking for. One Amadio or Aros can take me. Do you know that's why you have Aros in our place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know that they are small angels? Are you aware of that? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, are you sure they know this? Okay. We know. Small angels. These lesser, lesser, lesser gods, small, small ones. Because the big one, when he gets upset, yeah. he kills yeah, everything in time. Yeah. In Google, that big one, when he's upset, he kills everything. So when they commit that they are crying, they do in those olden days. Let me be a bar, I got the word is late. <laughs> <laughs> they they hide behind a lesser god and ask that lesser god, please beg the big one. <laughs> do you now understand? Mm -hmm. yes. Not that you worship those small yeah. small deities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh grand music. They are messengers. We ask them to go and please come back for us. Because when Elohim is upset, you know what happens. <laughs> many, many. So the man go nah. Mother, so the man go ahead. That's what happened. I don't want us to misunderstand it. Because some people think they confuse Odinala with Omenala and what we are doing. No. The worship of Elohim, not a religion. That you can call a particular name because that is the original the number one number one i've said this many times on radio biafra in the olden days before you become an insect not this one there are members of america
Let me tell you why what used to happen before you become a titled man in the olden days. You bring out your tongue and they will make seven incisions on your tongue. They, they make seven marks on your tongue and you bleed. Yes. And from that day, any day you lie. You lie. You lie. <laughs> That's why. It's so true. That is why you have to speak the truth to remain alive. If you lie, you will die. And that's why they start hiding under a mat on hand. You don't have a because you know if you lie, I'm gone. And in the and also go and check in our land. You know the boundary. We call it okay. okay. In our land, if you move it. If you move it from where it is, right. it will never it's be the Bible. Yeah. The Exodus. Exodus. Yeah. All these things that people tend to confuse. Right. They don't understand. They don't understand what is behind what we are doing. It's a mystery to most people. They thought we woke up one day and had to do. Oh, Biafra is no, no, no. We we understand the sacredness of our land. And what Chukukikabiyama said, our clock started ticking from the year 2012, 75 years from then. If we don't achieve Biafra, I don't know how many years, I don't know within how many years, but if you don't achieve Biafra as soon as possible, our race will be destroyed. And it was then that the, the BBC, no, it was actually United Nations that issued a very grim report that the Igbo language will yes, cease to things. exist within 75 years. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. These are some of the things that you don't know. So we are running a race against the clock to restore the kingdom of God upon yes. the face of this very year, which Biafra is. Biafra is. Some don't know this, but we do. So uh, it's not just about freedom fighting for the sake of it. We are trying to do the will of God. People who don't understand won't understand. Yes, yeah. Give me Give me Give me Give me so Felix Sony is a Biafran veteran, 10 year old, sent by Major Amajo at our local room. Also from his MBC. My number is BA308456. I'm holding a lead in the Reiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I ate in the same table with you. Oh my, come to my. My problem is America. Your leadership in America. America is the leader of the world. I'm here 44 years old. Like, and the people we have put or allowed in the leadership, the people holding us from getting beer. You have said it here. And I'm here to look at their faces. Some of them have spoken to me. As I was before I had people. Your leadership is why we don't have Biafra today. Don't answer me here. We were here in New Carrollton. I have a house not too far from. I called my dinner brother when I had it. And I just drove from Philadelphia. I've been gone for three, four months. People have been looking for me. I can't say where I went. I just came back. Immediately I had, I closed my office. I called my younger brother. I said, go there. He saw you. When you went to Chicago, another one saw you. The video. Not here, please. Gather your coordinators in the U.S., your leadership. That's our problem here in the U.S. Because you said here, excuse me, because if you are afraid, the fear fears the fearless. I'm a reverend, mm -hmm. a chief. There's no title they haven't given me. I'm in Nigeria, almost three to four months every year. Who am I here? I am the pioneer of medical mission. I'm the pioneer of, uh, of uh, um, telemedicine. Now, it's God. This, I don't call this Bible. 
basic instruction before you live on earth. I call them the manual of life. If you have TV, you have your iPhone, and you buy it from Best Buy, they give you a manual. It tells you the pass in it. It tells you how to walk it. If you can't walk it right, you can't get the best. Same with that TV. That's the problem you all have. I read this. I read this at the age of 10. I read the whole thing. I read it every single year. This is how I concluded it. I read the whole Quran, the Jita of the Buddha. I saw the religion and what you're saying is. So I've been listening to you for years. I'm going to talk to you. I'm here. Now, go and talk to them. They are a problem. The vision I have for Biafra is not really democracy. The only democracy there is uh, come and vote, determine who leads you. But we need a meritocracy. Meritocracy. That's what China does. Been to China many times. Your coordinators need to read. R-E-A, the readers are leaders. I do leadership training. I'll give you my private number 24-7. I've been an advisor to African presidents. I will mention that. They don't read. We don't read. Africans. After the certificate, after school, that's it. Even here. Anybody have read the three novels this year? Please raise your hand. <laughs> no, I read the I read average of 40 to 50 books every year. I've read 41 this year. I just ordered 11 books. You can't run this world with common sense. All these things you are talking about here, I know. And all this stuff. Because you read. That's where you can lead. That's the problem with Fulani. You're right. How can someone who didn't go to school run? I have an office in Abu. Up across Nigeria. That's my number one. Then this is another important one that will get us to one of the things we need. Who knows about Luz Merok? Luz Merok. Raise your hand. Luz Merok. Anybody know about Luz Merok? Do you know about him? Luz Merok died what? May 38, 1969. At the age of 20, 1949 to 1969. This is the young man that sat in the corner in front of United Nations and set himself on fire because of Biafra. He did something only Jesus did. And you all of you know about him. I have him go to obituary.com. You will see his, his, his grave there. I put this. Uh, um, you can go there and put a flower and memorize him. You don't know. We need education. Your coordinators are doing nothing. This man here has been with me to fish out our younger children born here to educate them about Africa. We do that. That's what you need. Our leaders in America is a problem. They are holding Biafra. They are looking at me. If they doubt me, they come to me. I can come and say it loud and clear. That's why we say that if they don't move, we are going to find another direction to work with you. You get what we want. It's an emergency. We have an emergency. We have an emergency. Here are the problems. Now, 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 your permission. I want to propose that May 30th next year, we are going to Bruce Rock Rev. Light. I'm looking for the family. I've seen one lady here, the post responded, but not two of We are going with the candlelight that day. If we go there with the candle, all these major media will come out. The whole children will come out. That's how we can announce to the world that we are serious. Everybody come out after the marching on June 20th. I mean, before that, we take candlelight. They are from like standing there for as so long the media will come. His grave is there. Go to obituary.com. Go there, all of you now, and put there. You see my own there with a the flower. You do it. Obituary.com. Thank you. Those two things, that's all I want. Our leaders here need to set up. If they don't sit up, change them. Because before President Clinton left to Nigeria, what did he say? He said, Then you. Well, it was about Einstein that said it first. Then you can you see, insanity is when you continue to do the same thing again and again, and they're getting the same result. That's how he defined insanity. And that's what we are doing. You are asking us, have we gone to our congressmen and senators? Who is supposed to lead that and do it? Our coordinator. Have they done it? No. No. Are they encouraging people to do it? No. So that's our start. From today, the dynamics must change. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you.
Ladies, ladies. And I strongly believe that every true evil man believes that you are God's son. For sure. And everybody's here. That's it. And I know what it would take for you to come to America one or two times in a year, go to other nations. My first question is this. Is your one dollar enough? Or is that the minimum? And someone put more than a dollar? Yes. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Why am I saying this? It will not take only hundreds of millions. Think of life that will be saved if the Afra had to come tomorrow. Those lives are worth more than, each of them is worth more than $10 million. As hard working as you are. One other thing I want to stress is that the, 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 the state, uh, American State Department, they are going around. And once they know you are a Biafra, they teach you with certain questions. Where do you come from? They start the discussion. What they want to hear, I believe, that you are a Biafra and not a Nigerian. Because you tell them you're in Nigeria, they believe you're still not sure of what you want. You can say, I'm a Biafra, but in Nigeria, I assume the person pretends not to understand the location of Biafra. You let them know. I've encountered so many of them. My name is Joseph Mwavoete Chimaro. Abonyobo. I was born in Abak, raised in Abak. If you knew there was a boys company in 1967, I started it by the grace of God. The boys company that later became the civil defense of Abak was born and bred there. It was in 1967, I was supposed to go to high school. For the war, because they were bombing schools. Later, by the age of 14, I was a train commando at Madonna Trade. Mm -hmm. VA. Hmm. So, what am I saying? I am in America by the unction of God. Never desired to come. In Europe, went to an architect. He's after. In, in, in Nigerian politics, God said, Come here to preach the gospel. I am a pastor. He's a Lord. And the issue of the effort has been a body in my heart. And of course, God has been giving some revelations. The last was that we got Biafra, but they killed a lot of our people. And I was one of those who were going around checking the dead bodies. Some of them were in the water. But there was a, a certain level of joy in us as we are looking at this thing. So, so it means that we got Biafra. That was the third time I'm having such a revelation of God. Mm. So I want to say also to you, more grace to, to your elbow. Don't relent. It will cost us an arm and a leg. It doesn't matter. Yes. Praise God. So, one dollar is nothing to you. I'm sure if we decide that we can make it hundred dollars, we can do that. May God bless you. But let me speak in English. And I want to be very brief because I know there are so many from you. There have been much more competition. And just like my brother, it is time. God bless you in December. Yet. There is something that brought me here. You see. 
that showed several commitments to the important. But I had this less than 24 hours. Okay. That my wife went to US fingerprint place. And based on the revelation that the Lord gave to him, person, when you go there, fill that application as a gift. I'll tell you. He went there and uh, filled in the call where it said nationality. Say something that they say Biafra. Then they asked her a question. The lady came back with the first, you know the kind of paper she filled. Is it a new nation where you say Google it? That's what she told the lady. And she Googled it right there before her. Are you okay? She did it as a beer. And my wife got her fingerprint document I sent back to her as a beer. So that inspired me a lot because, like, to cut it so short, that's what I'm going to cut it short because preachers talk too much. But it's not bad. But this thing I was saying to people, revelation about the Afro restoration was given to me in 1998. That was when Nigeria divided. So we are here to play a mission. My question is this concerning this donation contribution. One thing, what brought me here is that I want to know who is the coordinator here because I don't believe in there are so many chatter in the media, in the social media. Is this one is that one? That's why I said I'm going to come personally. See who is the coordinator here face to face. I want to have one because I have over 50 people that wants to do some donations, and uh, I can't even tell them anything. But to put it straight, the way it is, it is what is the what are we expected to do at the name? The information concerning the information where this money will be paid to. Okay. Because there are several information side, even account numbers given, which were wrong. So I didn't know how to go, but I can't give anybody any information. Go so this will go that way. That's why I say it's better to come directly by myself. That's it. Then secondly, is this the issue <coughs> about uh, Congress. Um, talking to our Congress people, before I even come here today, I've been talking to our Congress people, I personally wrote them letters of over 300 words. <laughs> so what, there's something you mentioned, they say you will send out something that we will show to them, groups. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to know how those things are going to be sent, because not only that, by the virtue of God's grace, uh, I don't know how I got, I got attached to President Donald Trump campaign team in Boston. And I sent the message directly to the president through one of the aides, and I got a reply. Hmm. So I want to know. Let me just conclude. I hope you understood what I said. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I feel family. I thank everybody here. My name is Lena Ikidebe. I'm an engineer, civil engineer, about uh, in the upper land for coming here. <laughs> Um, I mean, engineer? Yes, civil. Yes. yes. But I'm not practicing in America, unfortunately. Um, I listen to what um, our leader said. Um, I'm going to be brief. It doesn't make sense. Um, every one of us here knows um, how um, hard working he is. And um, me contributing a dollar is like a slap on the face. We know how much uh, expenses are both here in America and in Nigeria. He's taking out his time to travel to all parts of the world. And um, bringing out just a dollar is just like uh, we are not serious in what you are doing. If we can raise this to like $5, I don't think it's going to be too much. 
for any one of us when you go to um mcdonald's i don't think they sell anything uh, one dollar did you, you have to understand that um the, the economic uh situation in nigeria uh is more than what we we are seeing here and uh, my second uh, opinion again is he has been uh, he has told us that he has no income he has no bank account have to make a um, provision so at least even if you contribute money let us set something aside that this is what we'll use in supporting his mission you know he cannot uh, steal he cannot uh, be bribed so it is all of us here and maybe in other uh, countries if I can get out to other people, let us have a certain point where we say this is for the support of his mission, both in transport, the hotel accommodation, feeding, you know, uh, that might be another uh, idea that I'm just uh, trying to put forth. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. One family. The leadership IPOB, I have said that this is my first time of ever leading our leader. And I said to me, I said to myself that I will let him know that he represents the very pure and true essence of the woman right it. It. Oh. a man that represents our truth a custodian of our truth, our truth. it's not by coincidence that you are here if i to do pointing for this and when they came to storm your house it was just so despondent oh jesus and then i saw you in israel because he survived that my yeah. <laughs> question is this: How when this uh, uh, third grade, third grade uh, class politician, Omar Gege, they call him also, that is uh, going around trying to uh, uh, make his people not be part of a uh, IPOB? You know, he's just going around doing that. I think he's a, uh, I say, said the president exactly. And he's been doing that. That's how come along your feeling about it. Um, I will answer and thank you to all of you, including Joe Davido and our new assistant. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. In Omar Gege, he's um, he's so called security. security. Is it security? If our own Ebulefus couldn't stop us, I also believe that he will not be able to make any difference. Because Ishekiri is Biafra. They are also blessed with common sense and ability to reason. The same way you are gathered here today is how Ishekiri's all over the world are gathering and making sure that Biafra becomes a reality. Yes, yes, Anything Omar Gege is doing, he is bound to fail. Yes. And what happened to the others will happen to him. Of course. They will serve the zoo, they will come back in shape. Yes. Thank you. Sir. Um, nobody would tell me if you're wrong. Yes. If you know what Uga stands for, you should know better. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have the history about uh, Biafra and that we'll suffer for it. But uh, my question is this. Um, what is the best strategy to package Biafra within America 
And I mean, within the circle of for people living in America. Why I ask this question is that when people are afraid, it looks like they are ashamed of discussing the topic Even in different organizations, union organizations, and the committee of friends, you mention this in about the emperor, nobody wants to listen to you. Why? We are sharing. Give you one example. I belong to an umbrella association. When there was a massacre in a Ohio, recent massacre, it was so devastating. I mentioned that topic to the organization. Said, then what are we going to do to help these people? The government is destroying their land. You know what's my told me? This is the wrong place to discuss this stuff. <laughs> How old is the person? <laughs> they don't understand. You know, some of them are, they say they are old enough. They, they are veterans. They are veterans. They not veterans. Veteran. No, they are from veterans. Never say that. Never. 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 Honestly, Never. My direct, veteran. Veteran. My veteran. Veteran. My direct of veteran. My direct of I'm so surprised. I'm surprised. I told them. I said, you know what they say? They say, uh, um, that we should discuss the topic whenever we have a meeting. And the meeting is likely to be next year. <laughs> because there is an uh, end of the year party which they have to do. Life is more important to me than enjoyment. Enjoying and then people are suffering. <laughs> so thanks. Yes. Make that time for charity and the humanitarian work. What are we doing? That's the question I ask. I know the next thing they threatened, oh, they're going to get me out of the meeting. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Before they get me out of the meeting, I got out of the meeting myself. Immediately. <laughs> because I'm extremely passionate about the struggle. So I'm suggesting that we should do getting on this track. Everybody is ashamed of being a bad guy. So people who are moving up to most of the people who are looking out to you. you know what they're doing, my director? These people are busy conducting traditional marriages. America, she can see the formation of the culture. They don't want to do something that we should we use. Come out and see what we can do for the future. Honestly, I'm not happy to stay in America here. But the best vacation. I can have is back home. Always. Always. What would, it, what would go here and not be depressed? My director, um, to commend you uh, for your ability to be here. First of all, I said, I told my friends, I told my friends that you changed my life. I follow you every time, every minute. I listen to Radio Biafra every time. My friends, when you went to Japan, I was talking with my friends in Japan. They were giving me the feedback of what is going on. I, I watch you and I follow you every time. So keep it up. Keep the movement up. Without you, there will be no us here. Yeah, yeah, it's true. true. You reign the consciousness. And I will conclude. And I will conclude by saying this. And I quote. Frank Fano said, Onlooker is either a coward or a traitor. Thank you. I record it. That was the strong one. An Umbra Union in America will not support the Afro agitation because they take money from Obia, no? It's true. And I say this with every authority. That Biafra will be restored. Yeah. And all those people down on Yampu, what I tell here, yes. they will not enter Biafra. They will yes. not enter. I tell them this to do everything they can in America in conjunction with the zoo to stop IPOP and to stop Biafra from coming. Because they will fail. Yes. Biafra will come yes. and they will not enter Biafra. Yes. 
So my question for today, I always mostly talk about how we are engaged to the Afro. And most of the time when we come together, people we see around us as young adventure. And I ask this question, where are your children? Not because I know you don't want to bring them here. And the other thing is that all these people group or other groups that come together, a lot of the time their children are not there. I talk to students, I'm a student, and most of the time when I talk to students around me, they don't even know anything about Biafra. Why? Because their father, their mother doesn't no, tell no, anything no, about no, it. No, and when you, I remember speaking with one and he said, oh, the war. That was the only thing he remembered about Biafra. And now that we are fighting for the freedom of Biafra, none of them even recognize or even have an idea of what is going on. So how do we, just as my brother said, how do we market Biafra out there? Because we need to go beyond this us and get into the life of the youth, the teenagers, and preach this gospel of Biafra because we are not enough for the elders to say this to the youth. So how can we get out there to capture them young? In order for us to really get our men. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank is actually how dedicated the view always to identify themselves are able to pursue this very project is got to go conclusion. When we started IPOB, we went like this, I'm sure. The people you are seeing here today only came because they were able to receive the information. Less than 12 hours, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And on social media, these are those who are active on social media, I believe. Yes. On a stumbled upon the, the fly on social media. Anybody that claims they don't know about Biafra, <laughs> you are deceiving yourself and you're lying to yourself. Always. What we are going to do, our brother, I love you. No, he's there. He's there. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> they said here about the leadership in America. I used to watch um Box Live. I watched it within America. I'm not watching it in America as well. You know the movie Box Live. Have you seen Box Life? It's a cartoon. Yes. It's a cartoon now. You can't watch Box Life. Watch it. I remember Hopper, who was the principal grasshopper leading the troops against the hands, yeah. saying to the newly appointed queen that the first rule of leadership, everything is your fault. If we are not doing that well, I will blame the leadership in America. And you, as a student, the best way to get something done is when you do it yourself. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you will also have the responsibility of making sure that our students actually come out to be part of this. And that's our brothers uh, there as well. Kunyoga, please stand. That's the doctor. A doctor. I'm not doctor. Only a 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 doctor. He's a medical doctor. Is that correct? Uh, I, I have never seen, if, if in the understanding of the zoo, a medical doctor can be a miscreant, 
I don't know what an imaginary tattoo that I want. There is. Here is a medical doctor who is a miscreant in America. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He will join us and prefer solutions because I don't know everything. Yeah. I can't pretend I know everything. There are some ideas and suggestions you bring that will run with it. You and our sister as well. We need to mobilize our students. And anything you need from IPOB leadership to make that happen, we'll do it. Um, another thing we are going to do in America is this. You must start IPOB family in your neighborhood. Some may not come out in the open. We must also create an avenue for those of them. <laughs> you understand? They can come, you know the Nicodemus. They can come to the back door. We also accommodate them. And we must take this very gospel to every association, every group. Our children must have their own gathering. Don't you see what I'm doing back home? Don't you see it? Children, six years old, eight years old, they do their own things. The fathers do their own things. So the kids will also do theirs as well. And our students too. The thing about it is that there's always this there's always this concerted effort to make you feel ashamed of Biafra and who you are. Don't allow them to succeed. Never allow them to succeed. Which I could. And of course, as we develop all these new ideas as to what we are going to do, I'm even sure that um, our woman leader here, um, they also have their plans and their wing is also growing very rapidly. Please to try as much as we can, wherever you are, you are a coordinator. Are you listening to me? Yes. I have said this many times on your street. You are a coordinator. Start an IPOB family wherever you are. Start one. In your school, you start one. Wherever you are, you start one. That is how we will get this message across to our people. Thank you very much. Our sister, please. Okay. I'll have your to speak with the group. Because to be honest with you, I love iPod with all my heart. They have been trying to make me stop, but I told them, look, I didn't want to know when they will start turning us here because we're gonna call home when it starts. Because war is inevitable. And I keep asking them, when are we gonna start training here? Because it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> And they're going to go home. And they will not go home not knowing how to shoot. But before you kill me, I'll I'll kill you first. Because I won't be here watching you to kill me. Mm. So I um, keep asking them, do they going to start training or here? They can go to shooting range. They will have to start by planning it with but our leaders here. The guy that said about our leaders here is because he, he, he said the truth. And we have dropped out since. They go to the love I have for IPOP. I couldn't drop out. The leaders we have here, the little IPOP here, they are 20, no, it's 15 children men who have no understanding. We are 20th century people. And these guys leading on with archaic ideas. When you bring an idea, even a child can tell an adult, run away from danger. You don't have to say because a child will not run away from danger. If I tell you there's a danger, listen to me. The leadership we have here is the problem IPOP has. And the reason why Biafra have not come is because America is the one that will lead iPhone. No other people. We had, we, this is where the money is. This is where the one power is. This is where everything is. And we, all of us here, whether you like it or not, we need to carry gun. We need to have, know how to shoot. I don't know yet, but I want to know how to do it. But we need to start coordinating it. The leadership here, when you are talking to them, they, they push you back. They are like, who are you to tell me what to do? I'm like, I'm a nobody, but I'm here because I love Biafra. I want to go home. I cannot walk like this forever. I'm dying. I want to go home. I want to, no, no, I know, but I want to go home. I cannot walk like this in the next 20 years like this. And if it's not going to occupy my father's land, where am I going to go home and go home? So, to kill me will be easy for them because if they get people down there, when they go home, who, who, who will do that? Nobody. So, Amadike, God sent you to do this work. Yes. I know it's not easy. 
I'm sorry for the death of your mother and your father. And I don't know how God gave me the intent to keep carrying on. Because I will not be able to carry on if it is me. I cannot carry on because I am burnt out. I know what it is. But the way you carry on, like nothing happened. God is with you. And God has created you for this. I know you sacrificed everything you have for this. But God will repay you. I keep telling them. They say that I got to tell me I'm a radical. I said, no, I'm not a radical. I know what is happening back that day. And it's spending me because it's my people that they are killing. So who is killing us? The see people that have lived in the bush. They do not want to come and watch my own TV in my own house. That is a mansion. And imagine when I come and occupy my own house from the bush that they are. And they don't, they don't even know how to keep it. They messed up everywhere because they don't know what it is. We are part of descent. They are not got of this sense. They don't know what it means to keep anything. And they want to come and occupy us. at our own father's house. So for God to bring you out to do this, he will keep you. And will give you Amen. 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 Thank you very much, my dear sister. Thank you very much for that. Um, as I said before, uh, there is a place where you will work. Everybody has a job today in IPB, all of us here uh, together. That's something, somebody will come around and take your details. That's something you will do for us. And uh, we can move on because um, IPOB structure, the way we work, 